Hey Matt 31, it's Miss Brio here. I had a question coming out of section 2.5, number 45, and this was asking us to find the zeros of this equation using our calculator. So let's just review up how you find zeros. We had to my y equals, looks like I've got a line in there. Let me type in this function, negative 3x squared plus 8x minus 1. And because I'm in a math problem, I'm going to hit zoom 6. Now, this is a quadratic. It's a negative parabola or, a, you know, a parabola with a negative lead coefficient. So it should be an upside down parabola, which it, it does look like it is. Um, and it, to me, just looking at it, it looks like one of the x coordinates or one of the zeros, I should say, is close to x equaling zero. And then if I count this out, one, two, three, and it looks like the next one is somewhere in between an x equals two and x equals three value. So your calculator can find both of these zeros. The only caveat is it just it can only find one at a time. So I'm going to go for this leftmost zero, the one closer to x equals zero right now. So I'm going to hit second and trace. When you do that, it calls up your calculation screen, and I'm going to do um, option two. So you can scroll down to two and hit enter, or just hit two. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this. We've got two zeros, so I'm going to use blinky the first way which to me takes a little bit longer, but let me use Blinky. So if I think my x-intercept is here, I want to get on the left side of it. That's what this left bound means. So let me just scroll left of it. And you can pick any of these values. I could have picked this one, this one, this one. Not that one, because now that's on the right side of the zero. So let me get on the left side of the x-intercept, hit enter. And now it'll say, hey, get on the right side. So maybe like here, that's definitely to the right of this x-intercept. So let me move this, move Blinky. That's fine, hit enter. And you see these two triangles pop up. So what your calculator is gonna do is find the x-intercept between these two x-coordinates. So let me go ahead and hit enter. And there's my first one at 0.134. And I had said, hey, it looks like it was at x equals zero. Point one's pretty close. All right, so that's using Blinky and using your left, right arrow keys a bunch. I, I personally, I'm, I'm lazy, man, I don't wanna do that. So look, the next one is right here about 2.5. So an x value to the left of it is 2, and an x value to the right of that x-intercept is 3. So let me try this. I'm going to do second trace, option 2. Now for left bound, instead of using blinky, I'll just say, hey, x equals 2. Hit enter. And you see the little triangle pop up. And what's an x value to the right of this x-intercept? I could pick 3 and hit enter. And now my calculator is going to get me the x-intercept between these two little triangles. When I hit enter, there it is, 2.54. Right, which I had said two and a half. Now just to show you, if I'm doing it the way I like, where I do second trace option two for left and right bounds, again, I think this x coordinate is somewhere on 2.5. So I could have picked one as my left bound, because one is to the left of 2.5. And then I could have picked something like, what is this out here, like seven? I could say, hey, get me the x coordinate or the x intercept between one and seven. You can see those two triangles. It's gonna hone in on this point, and there you go. All right, so I don't want you to think that you have to have unique numbers to plug in for left bound and right bound. Just pick something to the left and something to the right. One little caveat, okay? If I was doing this, don't pick something so far to the left that it, it gets in the way of this other x-intercept. So I was saying I could pick one here. I don't really want to pick zero because if I pick zero, it's so far to the left, it's going to confuse the calculator and it's not going to know which one to go after. Right, so if I go 0 to 3, both of my x-intercepts were in there. And so my calculator happens to be going to the 2.53, but it also could have gone to the 0 0.131. All right, so that's it for number 20, no, number 45. Thanks so much. Bye.